Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about money. Um, and I'm going to talk about money and community, which is something that you don't hear a lot about because everybody's like, you have your money and I have my money and we'll keep it that way. And when bad things happen to you, you deal with it with your money. And when bad things happen to me, I'm going to deal with it with my money. And when good things happen to you, I hope you have enough money to enjoy it. So um, in Korea, it's a little different and I'm going to talk about that today. Um, whenever me and my husband got married, we did have our wedding in Korea. And we got, I think, $30,000, give or take an exchange rate, on our wedding day. Uh, because everyone brings money. This is common, I think, in many Asian countries, not just Korea. But I was really put off by it at first when I heard about it. And I was like, what? I don't want people to just give me money. I want to go to, like, a store and register for stuff. Um, I, never get, I never did get to use the little gun thing. I'm really sad. But it turned out really great because we had an extra $10,000 after we paid for everything, mostly just food because you have to feed your guests at your wedding, like serious buffet food um, in Korea. It's expected. Um, but we had $10,000 and, hey, we traveled for six months. And that's how we take a six-month honeymoon trip. Um, but the cool thing is, is that this kind of works in all walks of life. Whenever anybody gets married, their community comes around them and they bring them money. And then when that when the person who brought the money, somebody in their family gets married, we all go over to their family's wedding and we give them a little bit of money. And a little bit from everybody really adds up. So imagine being a newlywed and having $10,000 as a little cushion or a $10,000 really nice loan payment um, as you start your um, marriage together. Um, I think it's a great way to support marriages and I think it's a great way to support um, communities. Also, it happens whenever something terrible happens, like a person dies. Um, at funerals, you also bring money. Um, it covers the cost of the funeral, and Kenny's grandmother died earlier this year. And even though everybody was really prepared, um, she was over 90, it's still really an emotional event. Um, because, you know, it's, your, it's somebody's mom. Come on. Um, and when you lose your mom, no matter how ready you are to lose your mom, it's terrible. It's devastating. And... It really, really helps that you don't have to worry about funeral costs. You don't have to worry about the food it took to feed all the people who came there um, because it's covered. It's fine. Everybody who came to honor um, Kenny's grandmother brought some money. Um, the closer they were to his family or his aunt and uncle's families, because there were like five children, I think, um, the more money they brought. If they only knew them or knew who they were, then they decided how much money they brought. Um, you don't have to give a lot. Generally, I think it's about 50 bucks. And um, they made, I think, not made, I say made like they worked for it, but they got, they received um, about $44,000 around exchange rate. You know, you get to say 44 million won, which I think is pretty cool. I love talking in millions in Korean. It was really novel to me when I first came. Um, I told my mom, yeah, I make two, two million, blah, blah, blah. And um, she was like, what? I was like, ugh, I mean 2,000. Anyway, um, yeah, I think it's a really cool way to do things, and I think it's a really cool way to support your community, and I think that Westerners should stand up and look at how um, this society is functioning. I'm not saying everything about it is great. I'm not saying Korea is better than the States. I'm not saying the East has it figured out and West doesn't. I think the perfect society would be a balance of both. But I do think that um, community is really important and the way that we support each other. Um, on the internet, community is really important and we a lot of times support each other with words and care packages and mail. Um, and I'm not saying that we should support each other with money, but obviously if you want to send me some, let me know. I'll send you my bank account number. Um, oh, yeah, that's another thing in Korea. Like with money, I can just give anybody my bank account number. Like you actually give them the number to your bank account, and they can transfer the money directly into your account from any ATM. They can't access the funds in your account with your account number, um, but they can just transfer it, which is really strange because Kenny was like, hey, I need to put some money in your account. Write your account number down. And I was like, what? I'm not writing my account number down. If somebody finds that, they can get my money. And he was like, you're stupid. And I was like, I'm not stupid. I'm just ignorant of banking in Korea. Anyway, 
I'm sure he didn't tell me I was exactly stupid because that's not very smart, but anyway. Um, <coughs> I hate this blog today because I thought it was going to be really good because I was going to talk about community and money and how those things usually don't mix because you usually think about how money is just for you, yourself, and I, and your family, and how you shouldn't ask other people for money, but I think that we should. And I think that it should be volunteered, so you shouldn't have to ask for it. And I think it should come at really cool times, like when you get married or when somebody dies, which is not a cool time, but it could be. If you had a lot of money, it would make it easier. And also, yes, also. Thank you.